born Muslim. I believe in one God. Okay, would, who's that God that you believe in? I would believe in Jesus, but I don't understand the Trinity. Uh, yeah, sure you don't. Yeah, nice one, nice one, good one. No, Excellent. no, listen to this. So I start to listen to you and Christian Prince. And, okay, uh, all right, we change conversation. All right, now so, I see. So, so right. the only thing I wanted to ask you was I couldn't find anything about the Trinity in the Bible. The Trinity, if you're asking me to show you the word Trinity, you're not going to find the word Trinity in the Bible. That's a word we use to describe what the Bible teaches. So, let okay. me break down the Trinity for you. Trinity means though God is one. He's not one person. And by person, train your mind to yeah. think differently. Person, I don't mean that the father is a man with flesh and blood body. Yeah. By person, we mean father, he speaks. You can speak to him. He has awareness. He's aware you exist because he's all-knowing, right? <clears throat> and he has emotions. That's all yeah. we mean. Yeah. Jesus is a second person and the spirit is a third person. These three have the same nature. They don't have different natures. They're not the same person. They have the same nature. So that's why we say Trinity. Try unity. Three and one, one and three. Yeah. So Jesus is not the Father, but he has the nature of the Father. So that's, that's why right. Jesus speaks to the Father, because he's not the Father. But he has the nature of the Father. So if God is his Father, then he has the nature of God. I'll give you an example, human example, but God is not like humans. Just give you an example. Like even the Quran gives parables, the Bible gives parables. You are a son of a man. You're a son of a human, so you have the nature of human, right? Because your father is a man, your mother is a human, so they yeah. gave birth to a human, not to a dog, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's what we mean when we say Jesus is God. He has the nature of his father. And the Father is his God. Yeah. And God's Spirit is uncreated because God always exists with his Spirit. The Spirit is uncreated. The Spirit is inseparable from God. But the Spirit is a person who speaks to the Father and the Son. To give you an example in English, if I say God, his Word, and his Spirit. Yes. God has never existed without his Word. And he's never yeah. existed without his spirit. Okay. The word becomes a man. That's Jesus. Yeah. So this is what the Trinity is. And we believe it because the Bible teaches it. So if you want me to show you where Jesus says he's God, but he's not the father, that's very easy. He says it all throughout. Where he shows that he is God and does things that only God can do, but he's not the father. Like you mentioned, he prayed to the father because he's not the father yeah like also he said uh, one thing i didn't understand was he said he said to the father if possible remove yes. this remove this cup from me. from me and, and what i want to know is if jesus knew the outcome he died for our sins sure why did he ask the father if possible brother thank you. yeah you can't quote one verse yeah to show that if he knew the outcome why would he pray because you're quoting matthew 26 39 yeah but in that same chapter he already told you he knows he's going to die so let me break yep. it down for you matthew 26 this is let me first read the chapter and i'll explain it to you matthew 26 26 to 28 while they were eating jesus took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body. This bread broken is my body that we broken, meaning yeah. killed on the cross. Then he took a cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. So he's saying, this cup is my blood, the blood I will shed when I'm crucified to forgive yeah. you of your sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. So now he's telling you his body will be broken, his blood will be shed for our salvation, right? Yep. Now comes what you're asking me. Now let's read it. You ready? Yep. Okay, Matthew 20. It's the same chapter. So does Jesus know the outcome? Yes, he already said. So then why does he say this prayer? I'll get there. Just be patient with me. 
Here it is, same chapter, Matthew 26. From, we're going to read from 36 all the way to 44. Now watch. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. Just after he said, this is my body, this is my blood. Yep. Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him. And he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Now pay attention to how he prays. Going a little further, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Now before I explain it, notice that even his prayer isn't demanding, take it away from me. He's saying, if there is a possibility for another way, remove it, but your will be done nonetheless. He, so he still, wanted the father's will, yeah. Yes. But why ask if it is oh, very possible? Easy. Yeah, because... Why, yeah. Well, go ahead. Why ask? Go ahead, yeah. Yes. Like, could God forgive uh, us without Jesus be... Uh, if he could, then yeah. Jesus would not die. Uh-huh, okay. So you got it, right? So yeah, when yeah. the Father answers, there is no other way but you to drink the cup, what was the answer? Because saying, if it's possible, take this cup from me. But I don't insist. Your will be done. So if it's not possible, I will drink the cup. So by him drinking the cup, dying, what was the answer? Uh, I have was there another way? But I remember when he was on the cross and before he died, he said it's it's finished. It's complete. Okay, exactly. But So what was the answer to this prayer? There is no other way. This is yeah. the way for salvation, right? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so now to ask why Jesus is praying this prayer, because Jesus is a real person. He's not a fake person. And for the first time, Jesus is going to experience something he's never experienced. Okay. I'll give you a very bad analogy. Keep this yeah. in mind. Yeah. Jesus is expressing real emotions, that he has emotions and he's real, and he really has feelings. It's not fake. It's not make-believe. I'll give you a very bad example because yeah. nothing like God in creation. So when I give you an example, that doesn't mean that's exactly like God. You are told this upcoming Saturday you're going to get brain surgery because you have tumor in your brain. God forbid. Yeah. God forbid. May it never happen to any of us. So you know it's going to happen next Saturday. Right now, right now, <clears throat> you know about it. You're thinking about it. But when the day comes, you'll be overwhelmed with emotion, right? Yeah, of course. Because uh, now it's going to happen. What I'll you knew was going to come to place yeah. is now happening. And yeah. now you realize they're going to put me under. They're going to cut my brain open, remove the tumor. tumor and yeah. maybe I die, maybe I awaken. Yeah. What I'm saying is Jesus knows he's going to die. And he knows he came to die. But that doesn't mean when the moment comes, he should feel nothing, have no feelings. No. Okay. What Jesus is showing is, though he knows his fate, and now he's about to experience it, and being truly, truly human, having true emotions, because he's not a fake human, he's really human, he has real emotions, he's going to experience something he's never experienced. In spite of that, he still does not falter, but surrenders to the Father and says, your will be done. Yeah. We don't believe in a fake Jesus or a Jesus who wasn't really human. He's really human, and he has real emotions, and he's experiencing real emotions like we all do. But then he shows that no matter what he feels, he will surrender to the Father completely. Yeah, I understand it very good now. I, should, okay. I will read more about it even. But uh... yeah, Read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But what is it that's stopping you from confessing Jesus as your Lord? To be honest, nothing. I uh, I'm uh, with a Swedish girl. We've been together for <gasps> eight, eight nine years. <laughs> but are you uh, married? Uh, no, we are not. But okay, she's, can I give you some advice, brother? She's Christian and she reads a lot of Bible. And uh, can I give you and her advice? Yeah, yeah, sure. I know it's hard. We're men. The Bible yeah. says there is no sex until marriage. That's true. Yeah. If you have sex before marriage, this is zinna. 
So you have to ask her and you have to be honest before God and say, look, I want to give my life to Jesus, but you're in sin, I'm in sin. And it seems like you have a child together. And what example are you showing for your son? Because your son sees, oh, mommy, daddy, they're not married, they have sex. So it's yeah. okay, I grew up to have sex with people exactly, not married. Exactly, exactly, yeah. So when are you going to change? Can, can I ask you a question? Yeah. If you had a daughter, yeah. a daughter, yeah, and she went with a man and had sex with him in his bed without marriage and got pregnant. Would you be happy? Uh, no, no. But why I, did you do that? Why did you do that to someone else's daughter? Like I said before, uh, I'm not gonna lie, and you probably gonna get mad at me. Yes. But I, I was thinking I'm gonna have this girl one two years, then I'm gonna let yeah, her I go. Know every man is like that. We're all dogs. And I'm gonna marry a Muslim woman. Yep, yep. But God gave us a son, so uh, yeah. Yeah, because God was trying to convict you. She's not a whore. She's now, someone. Uh, now I see her as uh, the mother of my children, of my child. So she yeah. is. She's so, a, a whole different person. You got and it. You know, and you know, uh, I love her, even if she's gonna hurt me in the future or not. I'm yeah, gonna still lo still love her. No, she I'm doesn't not. hurt you. But brother, yeah, yeah. I'm proud of you. But here's yeah, my yeah. advice to you. Yep. Okay. Number one, see that woman as your sister or daughter, just like you didn't want someone to sleep with your sister and daughter. Yeah. Don't dishonor her anymore. Tell her, look, we have yep. a child. We've been together nine years. The Bible says we need to be married. Let's get married. Do what yep. is right. Number one. Yeah. Number two, number two, for you to be a full-fledged Christian, you have to confess Jesus is Lord and you got to get baptized. Yep, yep. Okay? So yes, you yes. already said nothing is stopping you. You already believe Jesus. He's beautiful. The Bible's beautiful. Yep. And the only thing is you need to now obey him. And I'm letting you know when you sleep with this woman not married, you're sinning. Please yep. Do yeah. what you can to get married sooner than later. And you need to get baptized to belong to Christ. But you have to also confess that you do believe Jesus is Lord and he died and rose again and he'll return. If you believe that in your heart, already your heart belongs to Jesus. So I do, you I do, I do 100%. So then that means you've confessed already. So now do this. Tell your girlfriend. I want to give my life to Jesus, and I know I got to get baptized. We need to get married because we're in sin. No more. You are the mother of my child. I love you, and I want to spend my life with you until we die. Let's get married to make Jesus happy. But yep. you just said you already believe Jesus is Lord and Son of God. I know he's. I know he's. You know he is. Sometimes I can I go to the to my window and I talk with myself and Jesus. I swear to God, bro, I can feel his uh, wow. power near me. You Even before I go to sleep, I didn't know how to pray, like how to Christians pray. So wow. I just say some words like, please, Jesus, uh, oh, yeah. let my day be good tomorrow. And thank you for today. And I can feel wow. the love. I can feel the comfort. Wow, I, I can right, feel man. that nobody true, bro. And when I read about uh, Muhammad, uh, it's like a devil versus darkness versus light, man. Come on. If you want to, I want you to, because I want to be a witness, I want you to confess, Jesus, Lord. Are you willing to do that? I don't, if not, it's okay. I'm willing to do that. But just okay. before that, the first time I cried was when uh, a woman was uh, getting, they wanted to stone her. her. Yes. Yeah. And Jesus came to save her. Hallelujah. Can you imagine the love and the, oh man, uh, uh, it's. Amen, because he's beautiful. That's John I love 7. him. I love him from all of my heart. I want Did you hear that, guys? When my kid grows up, he, he's going to go and know who Jesus was, who Jesus is. Hey, anyway, brother, you say you love Jesus. You confess. Prophet so here. Muhammad. Yeah, no, Muhammad is in hell, but I mean, you say you love Jesus. Anyway, brother. Since you love him, I want you to say this with me. You want to say it with me? Of course, bro. Let's go. Say, I confess. I confess. From my heart. From my heart, deep in my heart. Jesus is my Lord. 
Jesus is my Lord. He is my life. He is my life. I love him. I love him with all of my heart. Amen. I believe and have no doubt. Amen. I believe and I have no doubt. That he has been raised from the dead. That he's been raised from the dead. He can never die. He can never die. He will return physically. He will return physically. To judge the world. To judge the world. And I confess. And I confess. He is the son of God. He is the son of God. He loves me. He loves me. He died to save me. He died to save me. And I want to give him my life. And I want to give him my life. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord Jesus. Son of God, help me. Son of God, help me. Son of David, you. have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy upon me or on me. Virgin born son of Mary. Virgin born son of Mary. Have mercy on my family. Have mercy on my family. I love you, Lord Jesus. I love you, Lord Jesus. God bless you, brother. You're going to make me cry now. God bless you too, Sam. You need to know you and Christian Prince. You have saved a lot of people, man. And uh, uh, try to save more people. That's, that's Jesus what... saves us. And I want you to know, you have my Skype I send. Let me know. Contact me if you need more advice. I'll be here. Let me know when you get baptized, get married. So we rejoice with you. No problem. I will call you again, brother.